Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial of MyNixOS. MyNixOS is a website that lets you create and share Nix and NixOS configurations. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can run NixOS within a Docker container using Podman. A few of the benefits this will give you is that you will get access to Nix packages, which is one of the largest package sets available. You will get access to NixOS modules, which makes it easier to deploy supported services. You will get the control and comfort of a reproducible container configuration without writing a Docker file. And using MyNixOS, you'll be able to do this without knowing the Nix configuration language. To get started, we'll go to MyNixOS.com, sign in, then click Create. We'll create a demo Docker, paste a short description, and then uh, create this flake, which is what a Nix configuration is called. So for our configuration, we're going to go to Outputs and then add a NixOS module. We're going to use this one to contain the different settings for our Docker setup. So we'll start off by setting a few settings. So we're going to set the boot S container setting. We'll set this one to true within the Docker NixOS module. Next up, we're going to set boot loader init script enabled. This is because we want the init script to be available at a known location when we're booting the container. Next up we're going to set the um, temporary file system to be uh, mounted. And then we'll set a few networking settings. So we're going to go to networking firewall enable and then set this one to disabled as we do not want the firewall within the container. Next up, we'll set use DHCP. We're just going to disable this. And we're also going to disable use host resolve conf. Instead, we're going to enable use network D, the system D uh, service for networking. That's all the settings we need for the Docker module. So we're going to go back to outputs, then add a new NixOS module. We're going to call this one for services. And we will set the OpenSSH service to be enabled. So services open SSH enable. And set this one to true. This will allow us to log into the uh, container remotely. Next up, we're going to enable Redis. So we'll go to services, Redis, servers and we're going to enable a demo server services and then we're going to set the port for the demo server to 6379 that's all that we need for SSH and for Redis next up we're going to set a few settings for the root user so we're going to add another NixOS module, call it user root. And then we are going to set the packages for root such that we add the Redis package. This is to make sure that we have the um, Redis uh, command line interface available for our root user. Next up, we're going to go and set the OpenSSH authorized keys. We're going to set the public key for the root user. Let's so add a key here. Paste in our public SSH key and apply this to the root user. And lastly, we're just going to go back and set the password for the root user just for convenience. So that's all the settings we need. We're going to go back to outputs and we're going to add one more output. We're going to add a NixOS generate for the x86 64 Linux system and for the Docker format. And for this NixOS generate, we're going to import the three other modules that we already created just to make them available as part of the configuration. 
Next up, we're now going to go to inputs. And we can see that we have NixOS generators and Nix packages, both inferred based on the outputs we've set. We're going to update these. This will lock them such that we get the lock file information that we need. With the lock file information, we can now set up a follow. We're going to set this one from NixOS generators, Nix packages to Nix packages. This is just to avoid having separate versions of Nix packages for these two inputs. Next up, we're going to go to versions and release to create a release of our flake. With the release, we can now trigger a build. This will now build the Docker image. Now that we have built the Docker image, we're just going to download the artifact. Now that we have the artifact, we're just going to unzip it and then import it into Podman. Now that we have the imported image, we can boot the container. Note that we're using the systemd always option, which is available to Podman, which is useful when you're booting a systemd based container. Then we'll now SSH into the system. We're now inside the NixOS container and we'll test the Redis service. So as we can see, we can actually now set a message and get a message via Redis. So our container works and Redis is running and SSH is running. Thank you for watching.